Hey what's up guys Banu here from androidall.com and as i reported earlier on androidall.com the android nougat update is now rolling out for the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge as an official OTA update so if you still haven't got a notification about the update on your device yet I'm going to show you guys how to install the Android Nougat update on your Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge in this video. Please note that you can actually use this tutorial to flash the update on the Galaxy S7 as well as any other version of the Galaxy S7 Edge but please make sure that you download the proper file for your model number. So with that being said what are we waiting for? Let's get flashing and let's see what Android Nougat has to offer. Alright, the first thing you need to do is you need to go into your settings and you need to go inside about device and then you need to go inside software info and then you need to tap on the build number seven times then it will say developer mode has been turned on then you need to go back and you need to go inside developer options and enable OEM unlock so provide your pattern and turn it on after that is done you can power off your device so just make sure that you have enough battery on your device before doing this i recommend having at least about 60 percent of juice so after that is done you need to hold the volume down button the power button as well as the home button at the same time and you will see this screen so just go ahead and hit on the volume up button right here and here you will see the nox counter as well as the other information about your device so now you can just leave your device to the side and head down to the computer now you need to go into sammobile.com and download the latest firmware for your device so i will leave a link in the description you can download it and after downloading you will get a zip file like this so this is the btu option i have over here so you need to extract it also, you need to download Odin version 3.12.3, the latest at the moment. So I will leave a link for that as well. After downloading both of these, you need to go inside Odin and open it up for the very first time. Just open it up with admin rights so that everything will be smooth. So after you open up Odin, you can now connect your device to the PC. So just go ahead and plug your device to that USB cable and you will see the IDCOM tab on Odin turning blue. Now it's pretty easy, you just need to go ahead and select each of these options. First of all, you need to go ahead and select the BL option. So once you have selected the BL option, you need to go and select the AP option. So this will actually take some time and it will say not responding. It's totally normal. Don't freak out. Just give it some time and it will work. And thirdly, you need to select the CP. And finally, you have the option of selecting the CSC. When you're selecting the CSC, there are two options, the regular CSC and the home CSC. So if you select the home CSC, your device won't be resetted. That means all the data on your device will stay like that. But if you just select the regular CSC, your device will be going through a full factory reset. Then just go inside the options tab and make sure all the settings are just like this. These are the default options. Don't do anything to it. And please don't mess with the PIT tab as well. So after all of this is done, just double check each and every part of it and make sure everything is right where it should be. Now that we are sure that everything is in the right place, we can go ahead and hit on start. After you hit on that start button, you will see a progress bar on the device as well. So now the device is getting the details from the Odin software and now it is flashing the latest Android Nougat update onto the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So this will take some time, so give it some time and let it flash. Thank you. 
after the installation has been completed it will say reset and pass on Odin so this is when you can actually go ahead and unplug your device so you can remove it and you will see that the Galaxy S7 Edge is now rebooting actually now you can go ahead and close Odin as well now the phone will optimize itself and uh, reboot itself as well so just give it more time for this process to complete and also please note that the first boot is always gonna take longer so give it 5 to 10 minutes it will boot up if you select the home csc option you will see this screen upgrading to android where all the data will be upgraded and optimized for the android nougat software After all of the optimization is completed, you will be booted right into Android Nougat. So you can enter your pattern and enter into your device. So this is Android Nougat running on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So quickly heading down into the settings and going into about device we will see that the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge is running on Android 7.0 Nougat I'll quickly show you guys around the UI so this is the all new app drawer and this is the all new dialer with so much of color into it and as you see the UI has got a lot of tweaks and from what I have heard this Nougat update actually improves the performance of the Galaxy S7 Edge by a big margin so I'm really excited to try this out and on the right hand side we have the Edge panel which a lot of us are familiar with so overall first impressions the Nougat update looks pretty cool well guys that's it and that's how you can flash the official stock firmware on your Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did definitely go ahead and hit that like button and if you aren't subscribed to the channel already why not subscribe to the channel hit that red color subscribe button down below and share this video with your friends all over the internet and stay tuned to AndroidDollar.com because that's where I bring you all the latest from the tech world right into your browser so stay tuned to androdollar.com and follow us on social media at androdollar and uh, until i see you guys in my next video this is banu signing out